So open your hand and then when you feel some pressure in the hand, then be able to actually feel that sensation. It was a simple gesture, but what Keith Thomas was able to do in this moment could change facets of medicine forever. When I feel the sense of touch, it's like, it's unreal because I haven't felt that in three years now. After a diving accident in 2020 left him paralyzed from the chest down, Keith is now able to move his arms and hands again and can actually feel his sister's touch. It was emotional a little bit. What made this all possible was a novel double neuro bypass. Simply put, researchers at the Feinstein Institutes for Medical Research developed a system using artificial intelligence and brain implants that reads Keith's mind. Are you ready? Pull. If he thinks of grabbing a bottle, for example, those thoughts are turned into electrical signals that are sent to a patch on his neck or arm, bypassing the site of his injury and reconnecting his brain to healthy parts of his spine. The signals then then bypass his injury a second time going back to the brain to tell Keith exactly what he's feeling. So Keith's brain is literally connected to a computer. There are signals from his motor area responsible for movement going to the computer and signals from the computer are going back to different stimulation points in his body, brain and spinal cord. And the goal is to restore movement and the sense of touch in a lasting way. Doctors mapped Keith's brain for weeks with MRIs, so we're into the craniotomy. then surgically implanted five tiny computer chips. During parts of his surgery, Keith was actually awake. As surgeons probed the surface of his brain, he gave them feedback in real time. He said, I feel my thumb. I said, what part of your thumb? He said, my thumb tip, the inside of my thumb tip. And I said, oh, we found it. Those chips now decode and translate Keith's thoughts into action. This thought-driven therapy makes movement and feeling possible. I feel it on the wrist. And remarkably, researchers have started to see natural recovery from his injuries, relinking his brain and body, suggesting Keith and millions like him could possibly someday reverse damage from their paralysis. The main reason I'm doing this is just help people. At the Feinstein Institutes for Medical Research at Northwell Health, this is Barb Consiglio reporting.